Hello everyone, sorry I'm late. I underestimated how long my class would be. So actually, I'm still in class and I'm waiting for it to end. So I'm going to be coloring this today. I have to pull up the color scheme. And I'm going to try to talk more. Because in my first stream, I didn't really talk as much. So I'm just kind of, I'm going to like say my stream of thoughts, I guess. I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? Like, oh, I'm coloring this part like this because of this, and I go into explaining it or something like that. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. This is just to help me remember which colors go where. The commissioner gave me a few guidelines, like the hair and the eyes and the overalls, but the other ones are like artistic and type of thing. This is not my OC, this is a commission. I'm just merging layers right now so I can get the line art.
I'm going to try coloring this with a gray background. Maybe it'll make choosing the colors a little easier. Okay, my class just ended, so I can fully focus now. I'm going to redo this because this should be on top. I'm just going to give them each their own folder. Actually, I don't know. Cool. Okay. I don't name my folders. You guys name your layers because I'm way too lazy for that. Have I ever drawn actual backgrounds with lots of details? Um, I'm working on it. I'm learning it in my semester right now. I can show some of that if you want. Perspective. Basically, I've been learning perspective. In my personal art though, I don't explore it that much because I'm not I'm not a huge fan of it. I have wanted to draw a webtoon, but that's also a huge undertaking.
One second. I almost forgot to record for the video that this is going to be. So I have to set up my camera real quick because I always forget to record. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Hello if you're just coming in. I am drawing a commission. Not that late, I just barely started. I'm going to be a little messy with this. Okay, the gray background is not working for me.
It's 3 a.m. Where are you that it's 3 a.m. for you? I feel like I should have done the flats. Like off screen. I'm going to watch. I'm going to try a yellowish cream for the dress. Because yellow complements blue. Not sure what to color the flower on her eye yet. Maybe the same dress color, perhaps?
Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this for now. Yeah, I could add like a more yellow gradient for the flower. If you bought on Kofi, I think it would have asked you for your email somehow, and it should be also emailed to you. You only have the PayPal receipts, um, you can email me or DM me on Instagram or Twitter, whichever one you have, and uh, I'll check Kofi. Then I'll just email you the files. We'll talk details and DMs because right now I'm working. Hello, Megan. And anyone else that just came in? This is a commission. It's a glam sheet. It's the one right before yours.
I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can because I literally hate f doing flats so much. Okay, Joey, I will check it after I finish streaming. Why do I hate flats? It's just like, I don't know, it's so boring. <laughs> like, it, if, like, a part of it feels like a waste of time. Like, I wish I could just snap and then skip it. Get my sister to do flats? I've actually offered to pay her to do my flats. Like, give her a portion of the money. But she's very, like, perfectionist. Like, if there's a pixel that is off, she's going to spend, like, so much time doing flats because she's such a perfectionist. It's just not efficient. <laughs> I mean, flats like the colors. I'm just going to do a placeholder color for this book. No. Am I talking? Now I am. Wasn't before. Opinion on dinosaurs. I'm not super knowledgeable about dinosaurs. But I think they're cool. I've drawn one one time like seven years ago. <laughs>
Honestly, Joey, I don't think you should be embarrassed because I I feel like it's public knowledge that artists just draw naked people all the time. You know? It might seem like there's no audio. It's just that there's no music because I don't want to deal with copyright. If you feel like it's too silent, feel free to listen to your own music. Can I post a tutorial on body drawing? Honestly, I'm still learning. <laughs> I feel like if I made a tutorial, it would be a bunch of like wrong stuff. It was like maybe half correct stuff and then half wrong stuff, which is not a good tutorial. Yes, this is a commission. That sucks when Procreate crashes because you don't know if it's saved or not since there's no like save button. I hope it's saved for you though. Oh my god, hello Gia. Recognize that name.
I'm going to start with this back one. I I probably won't finish coloring this today. So next time I stream it might be continuing coloring this. I don't know when it'll be though. Probably later this week. I'm gonna try to stream often because it motivates me to work. But don't hold me on that. <laughs> Cause I always I always do that. I always say that I'm gonna do something and then I never do. I try to be productive so that I don't feel guilty when I do stuff that isn't productive. I'm not gonna lie, I have to like pull up a previous glam sheet because I kind of forgot how I would color these. While I do that, uh, this is gonna be a small break, I guess. I don't know if anyone can hear me, but was the, the ad really that loud? <laughs> I don't know what ad it was because I don't know what what played. I'm still trying to find this stuff. What ad was it? Like, what was it an ad for? 
mean, I've definitely gotten blasted by ads like on Twitch or something. Is my mic really that much lower? Let me, let me see if I could do something about it. I'm okay. I'm on max volume. Hold on. Okay, do I sound better? My my sure, because I just got a new mic. The software for it wasn't <laughs> wasn't on. How the heck did I do this? <laughs> I'm forgetting how to do what I do. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna have these up for reference. I'm gonna look back on them every now and then. It sounds the same. I, I mean, I guess I'll just put my mic closer. I'll I'll give a uh, a better warning next time before I play an ad, so that you guys can lower your sounds. Because <laughs> I I do play the ads manually. They don't like YouTube doesn't just play them whenever. It was an Arby's ad? You all got different ads, but they were all equally loud. Okay, so I'm color picking from my line. Cause All right. And that means I could just color pick from like the tint and I don't have to think too much about the colors. Where do you find my Twitch? 
looked it up. But I asked, is Fluttershy a character from My Little Pony? Because I... I'm not a My Little Pony enjoyer, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm cutting out because I'm, I'm trying this thing. I have push -a talk on. But I have to, like, reach on my, uh, my mouse for the button. And I tried to put the button on my pen instead so I could keep drawing while also doing push talk. But the pen thing only works if my pen is directly on the screen, like touching it. So it's not working out quite as well as I wanted to. So when I color, I usually just do like something minimal like this, and then I save the details for uh, overpainting. Same with the hair. Correct. I do have an Instagram highlight with the links. Oh yeah, do you guys want to see my homework? <laughs> Someone asked if I do like more detailed backgrounds and I could show that for my perspective class. Let's see. Oh, I'll even show some uh whips that I had on Patreon, but since I shut down my Patreon, I could show them and I won't feel like I'm ripping people off of their money. So... Oh wait, hold on, let me do it like this. Here's one. These are the thumbnails that I had to do. I had to do five of them for uh, one point perspective. And I wanted to do a, a kitchen. 
This one was not my favorite. I didn't like it. This one I also didn't really like. This one I liked the room itself, but I kind of just copied my reference and the camera angle is, is a little weird. And I think this is the one that I went with. And then I started to clean it up. This this is the final one, but let me go back a little. Okay, so this is like the base room. And I did this on Procreate. It was such a headache. Like perspective is such a headache. Then this is the sketch for the details. And I ended up getting rid of a bunch of these because I was too lazy. <laughs> And so this is this is the finished uh, piece because we don't have to color it or shade it or anything. My professor was just like, you just need the line art and that's it. So I was like, cool. Like these eggplants. And some wood that I totally just guessed on. Some, uh, you could tell here that I gave up on the details. <laughs> like, I was like, okay, what if there's details in these two? And then there's none on the other ones. And then these just aren't words. <laughs> so. Yeah, I really like how the fish turned out. And then for my uh, two point, let's see, let me find it. So these were my thumbnails for two point perspective. And I wanted to do just kind of like a messy bedroom, but my professor was like, add some storytelling into it. So I was like, okay, what if it's like a witch's bedroom? This one, this one was like my fifth thumbnail. I was like, I need five thumbnails. I'll just draw this like quick one like that I don't really care about. This one, I was like, okay, what if she's casting magic? But then the room itself kind of looked boring, so I didn't go with this one. This is the one that I ended up going with because I was like, yes, I love it. But I also really like this one. But this one feels more like a, like a college student's room rather than a witch room, so I went with the second one. I went with this this one this is uh some progress i made on it I was struggling a little bit, but I did this one on my PC on Clip Studio, so I was able to like be more comfortable with it, and it didn't feel like I was being held back by Procreate. And then I added the character, because my professor changed the requirements of the assignment, and she was like, everyone needs to do a character. Um, and my, how long does it take? My professor gave us maybe a month and a half to work on these. So we had like a month and a half to work on our one point perspective and then another month and a half to do our uh, two point. She's very lenient. And now we're, we're barely starting our three point. Um, so this is like my base basically. And I was like, what if she was doing some magical stuff? And she was like putting her hand in the mirror. But then my professor was like, okay, but what if you did the lighting? Because I was like finished before other people. So I was like, okay, I'll try. 
And lighting, lighting is so confusing. So this, this was my first attempt. And a lot of it is actually wrong, like where the shadows are. Uh, but my professor was like, it's a good try, you know? And then she, uh, she was like, it's a good try before I actually taught you all the rules. But my, when I was trying this, I was like, this hurts. Like, this hurts my head. And this is like some of the lines and stuff, which is just wrong. Like, I'm pretty sure this is wrong. And then uh, she gave us some exercises on lighting and how to do that, how to actually do it correctly. And then I got to try again on this and, and fix it. And this is the fixed quote unquote version. I only did the shadows for the floor and like this wall. I haven't done the shadows on the other wall. What my professor told me is like this back wall that the mirror is up against should be the darkest wall like darker than it is and uh for the most part it looks kind of correct like you know like it looks way better than the other one let me compare yeah it looks it looks way better i do actually have a discord server it's linked on uh all of my videos but i can just link an, an invite right now hold on That reminds me that I forgot to to tell my Discord that I'm streaming. <laughs> All right, back to work. I'm trying to tell myself not to get too hung up on the details right now because I'm really going to do all that in open painting. So I'm just trying to lay down where I want like the blush and stuff to be. And in this step, also, I don't tend to do any shading for the clothes since um, I don't focus too much on lighting and I tend to do more of the details on the, the hair and skin because uh, I don't want to waste my time with the clothes, basically. I should really get better <laughs> at rendering clothes though instead of neglecting it
Okay, you know what? Maybe maybe I'll do a poll in chat see which one you guys want to see rendered first. I'll uh I'll put numbers on them. You, you can see those numbers, right? <laughs> or, okay, I'm going to do a poll because I want to try doing a poll. <laughs> Can everyone see that poll? We are voting on which one I should render first. I'll give this like another 20 seconds. Uh, okay, I'm going to warn everyone right now. Lower your volumes, okay? I'm going to play an ad and then I'm going to start, I'm going to end the poll after the ad plays and I'm going to start rendering. We good? Lower, lower your volumes. <laughs> Okay, is everyone back? I have no idea how long the ads are and if they're skippable, but I'm gonna end the poll. One, uh, number one, one. But honestly, I'm surprised. Like, <laughs> I I honestly thought number two would win because I thought you you guys might want to see me suffer. For like rendering the book but <laughs> thank goodness for number one because it's honestly the least amount of work uh to do first it hasn't played for you guys okay uh keep your volume low then i don't know if it's gonna play again or maybe you won't get an ad i don't know how youtube does that maybe you got lucky and they didn't give you an ad As always, I'm just going to use my everything pencil to do all this. Sometimes I switch, maybe Grunch for gradients, and then pencil R brush for, once again, gradients.
Oh, do you mean in the eye? Like the eye sparkle thing? Um, it's just because I haven't I haven't added it. <laughs> So when I overpaint, I basically just paint over these black lines to kind of cover up the, the line art a little bit, make it look like um, more together. And I tend to do the face first. I start with like either the eyes or the lips, and then I move on to the hair and then the clothes. How old am I? I am 23. <laughs> I wonder if that's surprising. I don't know. Like, how old did you guys think I was? Okay, cool. I'm glad that no one thinks I'm like 15 or something. You can't hear anything? Um, can you hear anything now while I'm talking? Because maybe, because so, I think someone else thought that they just couldn't hear anything, but it's just because I wasn't talking. Hello to people who are just coming in. Hello, I'm coloring this commission. How did I do the eyes on the other ones? How do, how do I keep my main art style the same? Because yours always changes. Um, honestly, I I struggled with that too. And I feel like I, at one point, I just kind of came to terms with the fact that, like, you don't have to have one style. You can have multiple styles. 
Um, I, in my art journey, I kind of like just copied other artists' styles and, until like I kind of developed my own. And I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of other artists would say the same thing. It's, you know, it's not a crime to copy, just kind of be transparent with it and be like, yeah, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to find my thing. Um, because everyone has inspirations. Um, I mean, you have to be some type of genius to just come up with your own thing without referencing and learning from other people, right? Um, but I, I mean, you, you could see me do it right now. Like, I look at my old art to, I reference my old art and I'm like, okay, how did I do this? Because sometimes uh, I forget. Like, I, I have these uh, pulled up so that I could look at how I did it in the past. And then I could see uh, what what do I want to do the same right now? And what do I want to do different? Like, here I did the eyes. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to color the eyes right now. And this one, I just put the color of the eye in a heart in the middle. And I think, uh, I, I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it a little bit more detailed. So I'm pulling this one up and I'm like, okay, this one, it's not just a, a black eye with, uh, you know, a colored heart in the middle. I might try this one. And if I uh, want to put more detail, I'll try maybe this one, this, this eye style, you know? Yeah, look at your other art. If you have a style that you've done in the past and you want to keep that, just keep looking at it and reference your own art style. I'm glad to know that I have a distinct style because I've always wanted one and I think I reached that point when I embraced how messy I could be because for the longest I was trying to be neat and then it wasn't working out for me and so I was like you know what I'm gonna be messy. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if I like the full blue eye. Let's see. Yeah, the the blue did feel empty, but I'm going to try to make it work, and if I, if I still don't like it, I'm going to go back to the black. What's the average amount of time that I spend on a bust? Uh, sometimes, sometimes I could finish a bust in one sitting, in one session, in a couple of hours, depending on if it's like fully rendered or not. Other times I have to split it into multiple like hour, two hour long sessions over like maybe three days. But something like this, like one of these, um, may maybe I could finish it in one sitting. Usually I get lazy or tired and then I extend it to like multiple sessions. How? Oops, sorry, I cut out. Tell us your secret, Megan, because I want to use an ad blocker, but YouTube won't let me. <laughs> or 
or or maybe don't tell us because maybe maybe YouTube will crack down on it. Yeah, I don't like the blue eye. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep this dark and then add some blue into it. You'll DM me? Okay, great. We are on Canvas 13 or um, 16. I think they're pretty much the same. I haven't tried the 16 yet. I have tried the 13. I used it for a couple of months and I really liked it. So I guess it just, um, your budget. How much space you have? Because... I tend to prefer smaller canvases or smaller tablets since I don't have a lot of space. But I'm pretty sure both are great. I've only tried the 13 though. What was the hardest thing to learn with art? Hmm. I'm going to need to think on that because I'm still learning. Um, I want to say hands, but honestly, I feel like I think it's it's hard. Like hands are hard because I've been avoiding it for so long. But now I'm actually starting to learn hands and it's not as hard as I thought it would be. Um for sh for shortening is really hard. Like drawing per drawing humans in perspective is really hard. I mean like perspective is hard to begin with and then adding organic shapes into it is even harder.
You have many ideas that you just can't seem to execute correctly or your anatomy is off. Um, do a few studies. Like, get comfortable with the anatomy for, like, that day. And then try again. Like, take a break from that idea that you're trying to do. Um, I don't know, I guess do some studying up on maybe gestures. And then come back to it and revisit it and see maybe uh, with a different mindset or like a new day, you could retry it and do better at it. I'm going to be responding to chat a little slower because I have to take my hand off to, to, to press my push the talk button. What are my biggest influences? Honestly, I would say that it is both Western and uh, Eastern. Like, it's, it's both. It's a combination of both. Because I... Oops, I think I cut off. I do uh, consume both Western animation and Eastern animation. I tend to just call it stylized, you know, a costume. Uh, I agree with Oscar for drawing both eyes similar to do them at the same time. Don't finish one eye and then draw the other one. Uh, draw them both like um, like if you're drawing an eye, don't just draw one eye fully. You know, uh, draw them both like like draw one stroke for one and then do the other part for the other one. Like this. You know, it's like, okay, there's the, the upper lid, then draw the upper lid for the other one. Um, and then lower lid, lower lid, and then lower lid. Do two at a time, you know, like both. Like eyeball, eyeball. And then it should kind of match up because it allows you some uh, margin of error for them to match up. Instead of just putting all your effort into one and then finishing it and you're like okay i like this eye dang it now i have to do the other eye so yeah I'm sorry. I'm sorry that my voice is cutting off because I, I need 
I, I need to figure this out. Maybe I'll do it on my actual keyboard. The button. Yeah, this stream VOD should be up. Um, it does take some time for YouTube to put it up, though, right after the stream is over. But it should be up, like, the next day. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to merge it all into one layer. <laughs> but I do have I do have the layers still intact as a backup, okay? Well, not one layer. I guess it's two layers. There's a the merge layer, then the, the overpainting layer. How did I learn how to draw noses? Honestly, will you believe it if I tell you that I avoided noses for years? Uh, and then one day I found a way to do it after studying other people's styles. I ran with it and I haven't actually learned the anatomy of a nose. And then one day I got a, I got a comment that said that, uh, I draw all noses the same and I kind of took it to heart and I was like, okay, I need to, I need to draw, I need to learn how to draw different noses and I'm still in the process of doing that, but I do think I'm getting better. I would say, um, maybe sketch up some different types of noses and see the, all the different types of ways that you can draw them and then, uh, land on one that you like. But do realize that there's, you know, like, noses don't all just look the same.
thank you for all the compliments about the flower. I actually struggle with flowers a lot, so that means a lot. I want the lip color to kind of match the hair a little bit. When do I feel most inspired? I feel most inspired when I look. Sorry if I cut up. I feel most inspired when I uh, look at other people's art or I find a piece that I think looks amazing. And it motivates me to draw at that moment because I'm like, I also want to make something amazing like that. I'm doing the heart trick that I said that I didn't want to do. I just think it looks the best right now.
this isn't even supposed to be that detailed, but I'm gonna I'm getting a little uh carried away with it. Got to put in that eyelash shadow. Do I post my speed paint somewhere? Uh, I post them on my channel, but they're a little differently formatted than than uh typical speed paints because you can see my it's like a draw with me format I guess I'll work on the flower instead of avoiding it.
Oops, I accidentally moved the layer. Goodbye, Oscar. Um, I think I will probably finish this bust. I'll do number one, and then I'll stop. Maybe another either 30 minutes or an hour. I, I, I can't really estimate how long I work for. It could go either way. I'm going to stream again the next time I work on this. Which could be maybe tomorrow, um, maybe Wednesday, but uh, I definitely won't be streaming this weekend because I won't be home. I don't know if I like how this flower works or looks, but I'm just going to keep on working on it and hope for the best.
Um, honestly, Faith, I don't know. Um, the commissioner didn't, uh, say. <laughs> I do have references for flowers, but I'm kind of going off the reference because, um, I didn't really like the flowers that much that they gave me. And, and they did say that I could just, uh, do whatever I wanted with it. But this middle part, I might look at the references for that. This is actually, the shape of this is kind of based off of a Cosmo, but I changed it. And the middle part is. Maybe I'll make the middle part yellow. I think the yellow already looks way better. I'm not going to go with the dots in the middle. I'm just going to keep it simple. Is being an artist or YouTuber my full-time job? Uh, yes. I, I also own an Etsy shop. So that's also part of my, my full-time job as an artist because I sell stickers of my art. Everyone, lower your volumes. I'm going to play an ad while I check something uh, off screen real quick. Remember, lower your volumes, because I'm going to play an ad. Okay, everyone back? I'm back. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, this is definitely turning out to be way more detailed than I intended compared to the other ones. Because look at this. <laughs> This one, too, is way less detailed because I my style was so much more doodly back then, but I'm in a detailed mood today, so. It's kind of turning out like this one instead. Let's add some, let's add some texture to the blush. Yes, Mazamuna's OC. No one, I think that's their name. This is my favorite bus commission so far, and I'm I'm definitely gonna be like what's the word? I'm gonna be referencing this one a lot when I work on yours, Megan. I I'm more, I've already been thinking of like poses for Kubi, and I'm so excited to work on it. But I don't wanna start it until I finish this glam sheet. Honestly, I feel like I was like possessed or something when I did this one because it looks so good and I'm like, how did I do that? Sometimes I go back and I watch my video because I'm like, I need to figure out how I did that. <laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure I was sick. <laughs> I was sick when I when I did that too. Maybe I should get sick again. It's time for the hair. I'm going to do the hairline first. Because honestly, the hairline's really fun to do. Maybe she has a widow's peak.
Okay, that's just not a widow's peak. But <laughs> I feel like I moved the canvas so, like, unnecessarily. I do use several layers, but at one point I merge them. Uh, if right now I'm technically only working with two layers. I have this, uh, this bottom layer. And then an overpainting layer. Any tips for hands? Um... Try drawing them uh, as uh, squares at first so you could really drill into your mind uh, what perspective the hand is in and like the space that it occupies. I'm actually, I learned uh, hands for homework last week and that's what my professor told us to do. That was our homework was to draw the hands as uh, like the fingers as the rectangles and, and all that. At the moment, I'm actually kind of regretting merging because I wish I had changed the color of the line art before I did that. I'll do that with the other drawings, but with this one, I guess I'm going to have to just suffer and uh, paint over the lines. Or, this is, okay, I can, I can do something. This is why uh, having backup layers is good. Cog worked. And then I could just do this. How did I do uh, which part? The mask? This is the mask right here. Can you see my mouse? I can enable it and I can disable it. Uh, you could add a mask with this button right here. 
It's kind of like a clipping layer, but within the same layer, if that makes sense. I'm not very good at explaining things, but it's very useful. Before, uh, you know, I've been using Clip Studio Paint for years now, and I never understood the purpose of a layer mask because I was like, but I can do that with a clipping mask. So like, what's the point? But it's really useful because you could basically erase something, but also bring it back if you ever want it back. Uh, for example, um, let's say I, I can put a mask on this uh, folder. If I put a mask and I decide uh, this line is bothering me, I'm going to erase it, but I don't want to commit to erasing it. I could just do that on the mask. There, I erased it. But then I'm like, oh, but wait, I want it back. I can just bring it back with a mask. Like that. I have no idea if that made sense. I hope it did. But, you know... There's value in using layer masks. It's really useful. How many years have I been drawing? I've been doing digital art since I was, I think, 12. And I'm 23, so it's been around 11 years. Um, I used to start... I started with just a mouse because I, I couldn't afford a tablet. Because <laughs> cause back then, you know, in 2012, Wacoms were the standard, right? We didn't have XP Pen. We didn't have uh, Gaumon or the cheaper tablets. And so I had to save up uh, $99 from my birthday and Christmas money in cash so that my parents could go to Best Buy. <laughs> And buy me a Wacom tablet for a hundred dollars. And it's I'm like, you guys are so lucky these days that you could buy a, a drawing tablet for thirty-five dollars. Like that it, that would have been a gift.
I'm a little conflicted with the hair because I don't want it to be too detailed. But uh it's be it's becoming difficult for me to keep it simple. Yeah, I don't want to deal with copyright, and I, I usually listen to podcasts anyway instead of music when I work. It's not Fluttershy, it's a commissioner's uh, character, original character. type of podcast do I listen to? Uh, I listen to Sibling Rivalry, which is a podcast of two drag queens. I also sometimes listen to D&D podcasts. Uh, I want to get into Not Another D&D podcast. But I, ha I haven't started yet. Yeah, I, I think it's it's good that uh, other people can listen to other music and you don't have to listen to my music. I guess you could say also that sooner or later, I will have a D&D podcast, but it's just going to be me talking about what happened in my solo D&D sessions rather than actually being a podcast. <laughs> I'm really excited for that video, by the way, but it's going to kind of take a longer time to make because I need to draw the illustrations for it. They're just going to be sketches, but I want to get into like my storytelling illustration vibes where I could uh, draw my characters actually doing stuff.
the VOD will be up after I stream, so you'll you'll be able to see everything you missed. Yeah, I just started uh, this weekend, I think. I think the first time I streamed was... Wait, no, not this weekend. I, I Friday. The first time I streamed was Friday. I'm trying to do it more often. I might do them on the mornings, um, but if I do them in the mornings, it'll most likely be Tuesdays and Thursdays because uh, the other times I have classes in the mornings. Like today, uh, Monday and Wednesdays and Fridays, I have classes in the mornings, which is why I can only do it um, after 4 or 5 p.m. PST on those days. I'm probably not going to have a set streaming schedule, though. I'm just going to do it whenever I feel like it. Okay, the hair is not perfect right now, but I need to move on to the clothes. Goodbye. Thanks for hanging out.
Yeah, I'm in PST. It's uh, 6 p.m. right now. Honestly, I don't think the style change is a problem with commissions as long as you're transparent to the commissioner that, like, they might get something a little different. Like, for me on my form, on, on some of them, I, uh, in order to request me, you have to agree that, like, my current style might look different from the samples because the samples could be old. So as long as you have that understanding with your commissioners, then I feel like it's fine. Yeah, it's uh, getting later for EST people. Daylight savings just happened though, right? So, like, technically, we're an hour, is it later or earlier? Like, it, like, it should be, oh, God, I'm, like, forgetting. We're an hour earlier, okay, so, so it should be, like, 7 p.m. right now, or 10 p.m. for EST. Okay, because, like, I think, like, yesterday I woke up at 7 a.m. And I was like, this feels wrong. This is incorrect. Like, I should not be awake this early. Bye to the people leaving. Thanks for hanging out.
This is when I just merge this one into one layer. Let's see the difference between the overpainting. I, w I also like to look at it like without the underlayer. So yeah, I'm almost done with this. I'm going to clean up the hair and then um, I'm going to end stream. So what are you guys going to do after I end stream? Because <laughs> I am going to play some solo RPG. I'm going to try out um, this thing called uh, The Broken Cask, where you just, you like manage an inn. You have like staff and stuff, and you just find out what happens to your end. Ooh, Gartic Phone. Gartic Phone is so fun. I haven't played in a while, though. How do you stay motivated to render? Um, I mean, do you, do you feel like you have to render it? Because you say that you really like the sketch. So what makes you feel like you have to render it if, you know, because sometimes a sketch can just stay as a sketch. And sometimes you could just call it there because it already looks good. It doesn't need to be, doesn't need to reach this next step. And that's just up to you. But um, I like, honestly, I like to look at paintings because it motivates me to get to that finish step i guess if i'm really like uh determined because i'm like wow like this this drawing looks really nice because it's finished and so i want to reach that point with this drawing too i hope that helps that's just how things work for for my brain that's how the gears in my brain turn yeah you could also just like like what water bottle says you could just do flat colors
You're going to do your nails? Oh, I haven't done my nails in so long. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I used to have my nails done in my earlier videos because it used to be one of my hobbies. But then now I just get lazy and I don't do my nails anymore. I hope your nails turn out amazing. Oh, well, thank you. I hope you at least understand. Thank you. <laughs> Gracias. I have a question for you, XO chart. Do you do uh like oh my god, I don't I don't remember what it's called. Is it like poly gel? Do you do poly gel nails or do you do acrylic? Cause I would do poly gel and I haven't tried uh press on nails. But honestly, poly gel it takes forever. Or are you just painting your nails? Because maybe you're just painting your nails. Did I watch the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I didn't. It's not my thing. So. I hope it's good though. I do like the actor. What's this? Oh, this is um my style reference. It's my old art that I, I look at sometimes when I forget how to do what I'm doing. <laughs> was the movie good? I'm glad that it was good. I, wa I did watch uh, Talk To Me. Okay, I'm kind of stalling now because I, I like talking to you guys. But I watched Talk To Me because I saw really good reviews about it. And uh, it honestly wasn't that scary to me. And maybe it was the, the effect of like, I had too high expectations that I thought it would be even better. But it is, it's like a beautiful film. Like it was really artistic, um, probably because it was for a film festival, but it wasn't scary, but it was really good. Like the, the shots were beautiful. And also the actor, the lead actress is really good. I read somewhere that uh, their their budget was like only four or six million. And they could have used a lot more of their budget to uh, to hire a more like known lead actress. But they saved like at least a million dollars from their budget hiring her. Uh, I forgot her name, but I think her last name is Wild. And she was super, super good. Like, to be honest, her character was annoying. I don't think I could have been, like, I could have finished the movie if it wasn't for the actress being so compelling. What's Talk To Me About? I'm just gonna say what's in the trailer. 
uh, these teenagers, they mess around with this, like, hand that lets them talk to ghosts. And let's just say it gets wild. I mean, it's just a recipe for disaster, right? And that's exactly what happens. It's it's certainly entertaining. Megan, honestly, you be falling asleep in movies a lot. <laughs> and by a lot, I mean, like, that's two movies that I know now that you fell asleep on. But but I also fell asleep in John Wick 4, so I can't say anything. The only reason why I woke up is because I saw a dog get hurt. <laughs> I, f I think this is done, but for some reason, I'm not, I'm not satisfied with it yet. And I kind of want to see how it looks if I like mess around with the saturation. So I'm going to apply filters and just see uh, what I can do to the, the whole finished piece. So I'll come back to that. If I do this, I also really like the texture here, but I don't remember how I did that. Okay, it's not that. Okay, I think it was this, it was this. Yeah, okay, it was this. Uh, that's too much, though. Okay, texture. This is nice. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna end now, but I'm gonna be sneaky. So lower your volumes. I'm going to be sneaky and, and sneak in uh, one last ad <laughs> right as I end. Uh, 
All right. If you can hear me, uh, thank you for being here. And I might stream tomorrow. Maybe not. I'll probably post about it if I do. I'll post like the time and everything. So uh, see you guys then. This was really fun. I'm glad I started streaming. All right. Bye.